All right, man, talk to talk. 12 o'clock show, 12 o'clock show. Look, man, look, man. So today is Drake's birthday. Drizzy, drizzy birthday. And um, uh, Professor Lex has a good theory or a good breakdown of what he think Drake should do. And I wanted to watch it with y'all, man. I wanted to give my take on it. Before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas. Y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. Cash at PayPal is in the description. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to almost 12,000. I should be 12,000 by tonight, a million by Monday morning. Wake up in the morning. See a million subscribers. I'm going to be happy. All right. And let me know where you're from, too. So, look, we're going to get right into this clip, man. And uh, we're going to come back and discuss. This is a 12 o'clock show. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it, man. Ovi Ho Nation, send this to him so he can get his career back on track and you guys can quit crying all over the Internet. Let's get into it. Happy birthday, Drake. All right, all right. So it is October 24th, 2024. It is Drake's birthday, 38th birthday. Uh, congratulations to him. Another year. Uh, it was This was a tough one, right? The 37, yeah, year 37 was a tough one. So I'm sure he's happy to turn the page into year number 38. Uh, let's let's look at what, what gave me this idea for this video. It's 50 Cent. 50 Cent recently did an interview and he gave some thoughts on the battle and what he maybe discussed with Drake after the battle when they were partying together. I think that was on 50's birthday or sometime around then. Uh, and this is his quote. He said, I was telling him it's not him. I'm listening on the outskirts. It's not you. Don't let yourself think for a second on some real ish. I said, uh, they said you lost. Okay, well, what did you lose? What exactly did he lose? If he got 300 something million on his last tour, uh, you didn't lose a MF and thing. If that's the moment, you keep your creative energy in the right place and keep creating. If you slow down because you feel what the F, the resistance will make you feel like your material isn't good. Then you got to figure out how to keep pushing, how to keep creating, because that's what it feels like to you at the moment. Now that I listen back to and, and read what 50 Cent said, he said a bunch of garbage. Be honest with y'all. 50 said a bunch of garbage. That was a bunch of garbage. It's like, that's the obvious. What he said was obvious. Certain things he said in there, okay. But most of the stuff he said was garbage. It's like, oh, uh, uh, get back to doing, he knows that. I think that this is more, and it's not really more of what 50 Cent said. It's more of a, just a, just 50 Cent sees the depression written all over this man's face. So I think 50 feels like he can help him get through this. And again, let's not forget that 50 does not like Rick Ross. This is the reason why he's siding with Drake. He don't like Rick Ross. So let's just keep that in mind. The ish was good for hip hop. It made both of them create quality material faster. Now, I do agree with that last part for sure, but I feel like we have better advice for Drake. So here we go. The top six things for the six guy Drake to do moving forward in year 38 of his life to save what is a falling career in hip hop. All right. And to rescue it. OK, number six. Let's get right into it. Number six. Before you even get into that. I just, damn, it's so crazy how your career could just go just like that. It's so crazy. This dude, Drake, was on top of the world. I'm telling y'all, he was doing his thing. And look, it took one man, poof, knock you right off your pedestal right off that's crazy to me he changed the, the trajectory of your career 
whether you want to say, because we people still like you, but it, people still like Ja Rule. It's crazy, yo. This is crazy, but let's keep it going. Let's run it back a little bit. Let's go. In year 38 of his life to save what is a falling career in hip hop. All right. And to rescue it. Okay. Number six. Let's get right into it. Number six. Stop posting to IG like you're an IG model, a failed IG model. And with the with the baggy pants and the Zoolander face and the sub disses, that's all like teen or like high school. I mean, like it's like young person behavior. Uh, you don't want to exhibit any kind of young person behavior ever again. Just do the, the allegations. We're not going to get into it, but don't do that anymore. Stop doing it. I know you think it's funny. Nobody's laughing with you. They're laughing at you. Cut it out. Next, number five. No, I totally agree with that. I think that in this point in your career, you should not be posting pictures like you a girl or posting pictures like a female or posting pictures like a feminine man or posting pictures as if you are a, 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 a I guess, I don't know how to even put the next one, but still, you are 30, you were 37, you're 38 now, you should move like an adult, you should move like a grown man, you should be posting stuff that is of what grown men would do, you know what I'm saying, I'm telling you, he's still stuck in his teen years, because he probably didn't have a good teen year life, you know what I'm saying, so he's still stuck in that in that loop because that life is very, very, very fun. And he don't want to grow up. He's almost 40 years old and he still looks like he's 17, 18. Look at, look how he looks. He looks like he's 17 and 18. He doesn't look like a grown man. Look, this doesn't look like no almost 40 year old man. <laughs> like, look, I'm just being straight. Let's keep it going. Drake, from here on out, sing more than you rap and slowly transition into becoming a complete pop artist. With the rise of Afro beats and with the rise of other types of more poppy uh, music across the globe, you are not an American artist. You are a Canadian artist for the most part. You can transition into being more of a multi-genre artist, being just on the spectrum and outskirts of hip hop. You really don't fit with the Ghost Riders and all of that, especially after the battle. Hip hop is not going to take you as serious as it maybe once did. And that era is over. So I think you definitely, this is real advice. I think you definitely should transition your music into being more pop and more on the spectrum, on the outside spectrum of hip hop, more career. All right. Um, that's a tough one for me because I actually think the opposite. I think that for Drake to redeem himself, he needs to rap more. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been asking, we, and that means everybody that like Drake when he raps, they've been asking for Drake to rap an album do a whole complete rap album. He has not done that. He has been most of the time singing and throwing R&B songs in there. Uh, I ain't a I friend. Uh, 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 uh. You know that. Like, like, maybe that's just him. I don't know. But people been asking for it. So I kind of I kind of see what he's saying. Transition out of hip hop. Because, but then that would look like he got really kicked out of hip hop. And I don't think that he's going to do that. But just say for argument's sake, he probably would do it. And I think it probably would work for him because if he stays around and rap, he's always going to have to compete. It's going to always be a competitive thing. So let's keep it going. It being that kind of thing, more what Toronto is more like, you know what I'm saying? What the culture of Toronto is more like. Uh, definitely you should do that. Now, next, number four, make one more album with all Atlanta artists. They are begging you. They are begging for your forgiveness. Uh, help them out because that that type of sound 
that a lot of those artists that you have worked with in the past have is fading away. They need your help. This will help with the colonizer thing, I, I guess, a little bit. But I think you should do that just to show love to those artists that are backing you in what is the worst time to do so. I don't know what they're thinking, but hey, they got to do what they got to do. Number four, make one more album and every song should feature those Atlanta artists that are still willing to support you. Now, and I can see him doing that. I can see him doing that. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with that one. Right, halfway there. Number three, send a cease and desist to DJ Academics and all the other lame white belt level ninjas that are currently Team OV Hold that are trying to speak for you and speak on your behalf. They are not helping you at all. They are making it a hundred times worse. Remember this energy when you had this energy for DJ Academics, remember this? Yo, Academics dip from my live, man. Real talk, man. I'm really like that, bro. Need a dip from my live, man. Real talk. Man. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you need to have that same energy again. You need to get these guys off of your tip and get some new representation out here, some more mature, some more serious representation in the media and on social media. These lame nerds, the streaming nerds, they're not helping you at all. Especially Wackademics, he's not helping you. This guy is, is, is a little weirdo guy. This is not gonna get your name where it needs to be in the culture of music as a whole. I mean, you got academics, you got- I 100% agree with that. I definitely think that you want to, if you want to start over or start something different, distance yourself away from them dudes. At uh, Adam 22, you got all these people who may have pending cases that you are trying to stay away from, the type of things, the type of activity that you've been accused of that you're trying to stay away from. They kind of indulge in that activity. They're too stupid not to. Don't have these people speak for you. Let's go to number two. Number two, eventually. In a three year span, three to four years, become an actor again. Slowly transition away from music and become an actor. Nobody can criticize you for being an actor because many people say you have been acting like a rapper this whole time anyway. It's the perfect transition, Drake. Become an actor, whether it be comedic, drama, whatever. Don't be a fake gangster. Maybe you can pull that off once or twice in a movie, but don't do that too much. But become an actor, man. Move over, transition back into acting. Maybe there'll be a Degrassi reboot or something. Degrassi grown-ups. You know, it could be a hit in... in <laughs> uh, don't get me started with that yeah I, I kind of agree with that too I think he I definitely think he should transition into that in Canada now number one and please hear me this is very important this is the most important one you have to listen to this one please take this advice do not ever say Kendrick Lamar's name again ever don't ever say his name again no more sneak disses don't nobody in tde leave him alone don't say nothing about nobody over as a matter of fact don't say anything about anybody from the west coast don't just leave him alone don't say anything about him no nothing just stop please this is imperative for you to continue your career leave kendrick lamar alone no sneak disses nothing just take the loss it is okay and as a matter of fact, if I was you, what I would do is I would try to get Kendrick on the phone and call him and pay him $6 million for the rights to those six other diss tracks that he may have for you so that they may never come out and just don't, just leave him alone. Try to be uh, cordial with Kendrick Lamar. He is the boogeyman to you for sure. He is Candyman to you for sure. Do not say his name. Leave this guy alone, okay? If you want to have a career, leave him alone. So that I definitely agree with that. I've been saying that for a couple of videos. He definitely need to leave Kendrick alone. Don't even speak his name. Everybody know that you took a L. 
learn from it, learn from your mistakes and move on. That's all I'm going to say. But let's keep it going. That's it, y'all. Those are the top six uh, words of advice for the six guy. Drake, please, man, take this advice, okay? OV Ho Nation, y'all do y'all start putting this in his DMs and all of that. So he can take this advice. So you guys, you know, your 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 hero, Drake, can continue uh an upward trajectory or regain an upward trajectory in his career. I know you all don't throw the numbers at me. I know I didn't put a trigger warning. I want you in the comments because I want you all to hear this. That's why I, I didn't put a trigger warning at the beginning. Uh, don't throw the fake numbers and things at me in the comments. I know about that already. We all know. But he Yeah, so make sure y'all go subscribe to him. Yeah, that was a dope video. Yeah, man. Shout out to uh Professor Lex. That was real dope. Um I I agree. Only one of them I didn't really agree with, but I kind of agree. It was on the fence with the uh, one of them, but the other, all the other ones I did, I agree. I think that Drake should do exactly what he said, and um, I think people should share this with Drake. I think Drake need to learn from this. I think Drake has been humbled, maybe not to the point where he's gonna change his ways, but maybe he's been humbled that he's not gonna battle Kendrick ever again. But um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. And I always want, I wanted to ask this too. Maybe somebody knows. Is they still having OVO Fest? Because I didn't see anything about it. Maybe he's skipping it this year. If he, if he, if he skip it this year. I don't know, man. Somebody said Kendrick got a song dropping tonight on Drake's birthday. I don't know. But we'll see. All right, man. I'm out of here. Six o'clock show coming up. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.